I'm Starla. I'm it. And we are our, our Fan, fan Plays Games. Games. Yay! And welcome to our preview of Factions of Soul, published by Mark IV Games. Now, family, this is a Kickstarter that's going to go live on September 13th. Hey, we'll let you know, like we say, well, for all of our previews, don't take a word for it. Check it out. See if your game group or your family might check it out and like it. So come on, look at it. But now Stahl is going to give us an overview and tell us a little bit about the gameplay. So here we go. In Factions of Soul, each player controls one of eight asymmetric factions competing to impress Mark Megacore the creator of Megacore Inc., Earth's one-stop shop for everything from groceries to rocket fuel, and inherit both his fortune and political power. During the game, you will build machines, explore new exoplanets, and demonstrate your faction's ability to achieve secret objectives. But be warned, as you move your ship through the solar system, movement becomes increasingly difficult Will you end up stranded in space? Or will you emerge victorious as the new ruler of Seoul? As a faction competing for Mark Megacore's fortune, your goal is to earn more victory points than every other faction by the end of the game. You can earn victory points by building machines, exploring exoplanets, completing secret objectives, and amassing resources. After the upkeep phase of the third round, the game ends and victory points are tallied. The player with the most victory points wins the game. Factions of Soul. Yes, yes. interesting game. Interesting. Big board. Big board. The, the solar system. Mm -hmm. And then you have to just really move around it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the turns where you either, you, you know, you, you trade, you mm -hmm. can trade, yep. you can move, mm -hmm. or you can do actions. Yes. And it's really cool because every planet has something that's going on with it. And even the asteroids. Even the asteroids. You can get stuff from the well, you got to get the resources from the yes, asteroids. Yeah, the resources. And then Mars is very important mm -hmm. because it's where you upgrade. Yes. And you got to upgrade so you can have mm -hmm. more, you know, space in your cargo hold mm -hmm. for, for your energy. For, no, no, cargo holds for the resources. For resources. And then and also then the energy, energy. you got to get yes. a better battery mm -hmm. so you can have more energy. Exactly. So it's, it's a lot going on. You got to upgrade. Mm -hmm. And then you have like Saturn have planets that you can, you know, get, mm -hmm. you know, more resources. Mm -hmm. and you know uh, energy from but those are planets that you have to explore and getting people to help you explore you gotta go to Venus go to, to Venus. get people there to help yeah. you out and, and they and give I, you more I, points I, I really stuff. enjoy going to Venus because you have all the different characters there yes, and yes. You know, Very they, different it can characters. be funny some of the yeah. stuff they've written on the cards you get yeah. a chance to you know have different uh, ideas of what the character does and it kind of makes the game more real it gets, it's, 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 it gets it's you into the theme because it's like it's, it's, like, the it's the like a uh, futuristic yeah. 50s type yeah. of vibe which yeah. is really interesting mm -hmm. yeah it's really interesting yeah. and the, but the thing is is that with movement mm -hmm. once you move around mm -hmm. you gotta leave energy cubes yeah. and you know then you kind of like leaving like space junk mm -hmm. and then because when you leave like a one in somewhere like in mm -hmm. the inner rings mm -hmm. it's like one energy cube yeah. if if you go put a one there, one energy cube, and I go there, I gotta put one more, so mm -hmm. that's gonna be two. And yeah. then after a while, you gotta put one more after that. So if somebody else goes in there, it'll be three, mm -hmm. and it gets really crazy. Yeah. And it's a lot of junk everywhere. So you gotta try to find different and it places. It stays to move, on the board. And it stays so there until the next round. Yeah, yeah, until the next round. And it's just it just gets crowded. Mm -hmm. So that kind of messes you up too. Well, you yeah. know, you, you spend time trying to build up energy so you yes. have enough to spend. Yes. But then your battery only holds so much. So much. So and you gotta that battery. You gotta upgrade the battery, so it's, make it's sure you lot. can get your little rocket from place to place. Yeah, you know? yeah. But so, it's, it's an interesting game that really keeps you on your toes, mm -hmm. and I like that. I really but do the, like the that. Interesting is the way it looks when you finally yes. put all those cubes out. I guess if you were in a real rocket, you'd be trying to avoid all the space oh, junk. Oh, trying to get all, to get all the junk all <laughs> over the place. That you've yeah, yeah. But yeah, factions of soul. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. interesting. So, family, definitely check it out. See what you think about it, and don't forget. This is going to be a Kickstarter that will go live on September 13th. Again, it will go live on September 13th. So, Starla, where can they find OFPG 
in this wild, crazy <laughs> world that we're going in now. Well, if you're looking for Our Family Plays Game, yes. you can find us on Facebook, yes. Instagram, yes. Twitter, yes. and right here on YouTube. Right here on YouTube, somewhere mm -hmm. in space, somewhere, somewhere, somewhere out here. <laughs> somewhere here. But definitely, family, check it out. Factions of Soul, mm -hmm. very interesting game. Mm -hmm. But we wanted to keep you talking to us, let us know what you think, mm -hmm. what's going on. But family, what we always want you to know, and I mean, we want you to always know this. We love you. Bye-bye now. Everybody.